In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to build sections in card. This process is straightforward and should give your design a little more structure, making it easier to organize your content effectively. So let's dive right in. To begin, take a look at the top right panel on your screen. You're going to find a plus sign there. Go ahead and click on that plus sign. This action will help you add a new element to your project. Once you've done that, the next step is to click on the option labelled Control. Here, you have the flexibility to decide how many sections you wish to add to your design. To get us started, I'll demonstrate by adding two sections. Feel free to add more or fewer, depending on your specific needs and the complexity of your design. After adding the sections, you'll notice something new in your workspace. Dashed lines have appeared. These lines are essentially your section dividers. Initially, they're given default names like hashtag section01 and hashtag section02. These names are simply placeholders, so they don't limit you in any way. You have the freedom to rename these sections based on their purpose or content. For instance, you might want to name them something descriptive like introduction or gallery, depending on what each section will contain. Personalised names can really help keep things organised, especially when dealing with multiple sections. Next, we're going to focus on arranging these sections. You can now click and drag the dashed lines that represent your sections to position them exactly where you want. This flexible placement feature allows you to tailor the layout to suit your design preferences neatly. It's quite literally like moving pieces of a puzzle until they fit just right, giving your project a cohesive and polished look. And just like that, you've built and customised sections in card. While it might seem simple at a glance, mastering these foundational steps is crucial for managing your content efficiently. By rearranging and renaming sections, you enhance not only the visual appeal of your project, but also its functionality. This approach ensures your content is both accessible and engaging to your audience. Remember, practice makes perfect, so don't hesitate to experiment with different layouts as you become more comfortable with these tools. And that covers our guide on how to build sections. I hope this tutorial was helpful and thank you for watching. Feel free to explore more features to elevate your projects even further. 